I am. I'm very happy to be here with you today. And I will ask you to turn your camera on. Paul, Eugenia, Ari, Karen, Ian, Shaq, so we can work together, okay? It doesn't mind, you don't have to be perfectly calm, see my hair. So we are going to start, and I will ask you, we, who works at Agile? Shake your hands if you work at Agile, please. Let me see, okay. And now shake your hands if your desk is perfectly ordered. If you have or your desk clean up, please. Someone? No? Anyone? Okay, so we'll start with the first exercise. Listen, you have to pick one thing, okay? Pick one thing. Now, take one thing at your hands, okay? Now another one, please. Another. Faster, please. Hazel, you too. Manok, you too. Another one, please. Take two things now, please. Two more, please. Come on, come on, can't you two? Another one, please. How are you feeling? Let me see your faces. Take another one. Come on, one more. I promise, it's the last one. Oh, good job. You're making a really good job, team. The last one. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Now, leave them all, please. Please. What's happening? Okay. What have you seen? What did you feel this moment? Can you tell me by chat? Yes. What happened? Oh, Tim, stop, please. Stop, Tim. Leave, leave them now. Mess, overwhelmed, too much. I need more arms. Okay. What you experience has something to do but what you're experiencing in 2020 or 2021 has something to do? What do you say? If you want to share it with me. Oh, Marco, you're okay. You're not a mess like every one of us. What you just experienced has something to do with this year? What do you think? Let me see. In chat, yes, this year has been a chaos, more or less anxious. Okay. Well, thank you all. We start in this way because our system, our labor system, was built to be productive, efficient, effective. But last year wasn't really a smart working at all. For me, it was like survival working, you know? My home became a co-work with co-workers I haven't chosen at all. Also, I have a school because I have a little kid. And now in 2021, we don't have bandwidth. What, what do I mean? That we are very tired. We experience a lot of over, uh, how do you say, excuse me, I'm trying to do my best in English, uh, but we, we are very tired and we need results. And also our companies need results, but our companies were built to be productive, not to be healthy. And that's what we need to work right now. So smart working and being, it's a way to think again about our days. When I was working with a lot of companies here in Latam, I don't know if it's the same in UK or wherever you are, but here in Latam, most of the companies discovered that they couldn't adapt to change or even create them because the rhythm was unhealthy, because everyone was so tired. But no one speak about, spoke about uh, health. We were just speaking about productive and how to be productive. So we start creating this new world like smart working and being where agile and slow meet. And when I am talking about agile, I'm not talking about going fast. I'm talking about our ability to adapt to change and even to create them to give value to our clients. 
and it's slow it's not to go leisurely it's to be connected with our with our feelings with us okay just to be conscious so now in this year i believe we need to talk about both of them the power of and to talk about agile and to talk about the slow how to live and how to work in a better way so here is a little uh, manifesto we made last year to start talking about this i will read it and i would love to listen to you by chat what do you think about this okay uh for me the most important thing in these days is to care about people and business we usually said that we have to care or for people or for business and now we know that we have to work with both of them and not just to care about business short-term results we need to see and to know that the power became we got power when we work with both of them at the same time <coughs> the other thing is we need to work for the self-development of people in most of the companies we work for the job development the job role okay you need to do this and this is your task and that's okay but now we know in these years of change that we need to work for self-development and that only happens when we work in an environment where there's trust respect and safety that's where the better teams work okay and as i thought that there will be a lot of people working in agile uh, we need agile leader teams okay we need to work for empowerment we need to work for with focus okay with transparency and we need to let go micromanagement and the last thing that is most important for me is that this way of working must be co-creative there's an ecosystem it's not to plan a new way of working it's to create them with the other people that it's working with us so we're going to do the next exercise and now i will ask you to stand up take a paper a piece of paper and oh dear. To write. that's gonna be tough okay let's let's try i know you you can walk if you don't want to walk you can stay and just roll but i prefer if you can walk so uh, please take your headphones off yes they're out and turn the put put your your sound louder because i'm going to give you some exercise and you will need to listen to me okay if you want stand up please we are going to take a little walk together just to see how we can land this manifesto, okay? Let me see. So now you will imagine there is a line behind you, okay? And this line has two sides. One side is your home, okay? The other side, it's your work. And you walk to the side where you had put your energy in 2020. Where did your energy go last year in 2020? Let your body take you to one of the sides, your home or your job. Where have you been? Let's walk and see. Hola, Jose. Try to walk, okay, and find out where did your energy go? yes the ones that are sit down you can draw if you want and then go to where is your energy right now where is your energy this year where is your energy at home or at work okay don't think that much just let your body show you the way okay and when you're there you will imagine yes a new line but this line is going to be about health and about productivity okay where are you going at work yes are you in the side of productivity 
Are you at the side of twelve? Maybe you're not in one of one of those. You are in the middle. Just go and imagine in which side of this line are you now, okay? And then try to go where your company is. Where do you think your company is now? It's at the side of health. It's at the side of productivity. Where is your company? It doesn't mind. It's your side. It's your line, Jose. You don't mind. I, I, it's not. No, it's your side. You just have to imagine. Okay. So let's. We've been at one of the sides. Maybe you are in the middle, and now you're seeing where is the company, and you're going to walk a little bit more. You are going to imagine you have a square behind you. Okay. Start walking in an imaginary, imaginary, imaginary square, okay? Please walk. Let's walk. Imagine there's a square behind you, okay? Yes, you can dance. And then you're going to one of the corners. And now I will ask you to write if there's an emotion or there's a word that comes to you. The first corner is going to be people. When we work in a company, there's people, okay? What do we feel when we are working with people this year, okay? Is there any emotion coming? Is there any word, okay? You stay there at that corner and then it's okay, rhythm, I'm okay with rhythm. They usually tell me I speak a little bit that it's okay when I speak in English, but I don't know. Uh, it's okay. My rhythm, it's okay. Yes, okay. So walk to the second corner. The second corner, it's going to be teams. When we work in companies, we usually work with teams. What do we feel when we arrive to that corner? Teams corner, okay? Is there any motion? Is there any word that comes to you? Write it down, okay? And then just stay there, see what you're feeling, okay? And you're going to walk to the third corner, that is the organization. Which emotion appears when you think about the organization? Is there any word that comes to you? What happens when you don't work just with people, just with teams, when you see the macro, you see the organization, okay? Let the feeling come. Just right. If nothing comes, it's okay. And you will go to the last corner that is business. Okay? You're going to the last corner that is business. What's the emotion that comes for you? Is there any word that appears when it comes to business? Just one minute more of walking. And when you walked through all the corners, I will ask you to go to the place you think you're now. What are, where are you working now? You're working with people, with teams, with companies, with the business. Where is your energy now? When do you feel comfortable? Just go with your body and see where do you stand up? And from there, see 
the other side of the square. If there's something you aren't seeing at all. If there's something that is uncomfortable, okay? And with all this little walk, I will invite you to come and sit with me here. And if you want, take just one minute to let all your discoveries come down, okay? If you want to write something to see what happened in these five minutes. Thanks, Conrad. And if you want to share something by chat, it would be amazing. What have you discovered? What have you experienced? What have you felt? Anyone had discovered something? Okay, Conrad. Thanks, Conrad. Okay, thanks, Nuno, Manoj. Uh, for me, this exercise, it's really important because there are so many things that we have to see when we work. And usually we feel comfortable just with one dimension, you know? I like to work with teams and that's okay. But if you want to make a change in your organization, it's not just about our teams. It's about our teams, people, organization, business, this is one of the uh, main challenges we have in these days. Uh, oh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm reading all the things. Thanks a lot in the chat. Then Anna, if we can uh, just save this chat, it would be amazing. So um, for me, uh, usually we talk about or, but today we have to talk about and, how we mix all these things and we put them together to make our places of work healthy and productive, okay? Because if we just uh, split the dimensions, it's not sustainable at all. So what we walk recently, uh, it's our ecosystem, you know? That it was one of the things I told you in the manifesto, co-creating a dynamic ecosystem. We need to think in all of the dimensions. And we just walked together to feel it because our works are not just in personal places, are also emotions. And we need to take conscious, be conscious about where we are. So for me, it's not just about a matter of philosophy, you know, and making a manifesto. We made this manifesto uh, just to make a new conversation in companies. Um, and we were working with this the last year and also this year. But for me, the most interesting thing is which is the minimal activity we can do, the minimum change, so we can uh, make this manifesto work. So we can start working in the other dimensions you've seen you are not so comfortable with, okay? So I'm going to share with you some hacks and we we'll work together this last 10 minutes. Um, I will just tell you about them and we'll work with one, but I would like to do a first checkpoint. How, how are you doing right now? Because it will like 20 minutes. How are you? Give me your fingers. Okay, are we okay? Yes, yes. Okay, so you are going to go and see your calendar, okay? Just go and see your calendar for 30 seconds, okay? 30 seconds, look at your calendar and come back and tell me by chat what 
word come to you when you see your calendar, okay? 30 seconds, come on, go sit and come back and tell it to me, which is the word that appears to you, busy. What else? I don't need to look, a mess, red, colorful, hectic, busy, colorful, getting better, pressure, okay. Each time I do this exercise, it's just 30 seconds, everyone says the same, you know? It's kind of what's happening? Why are we living like this? So for me, it's very interesting when you see your calendar, a lot of people say they have like a Tetris, okay? But the thing is to understand why are we working like this? Why our schedule is like this? And we must understand and remember which are our beliefs and also the culture of the company, which are the things you usually say when you build your agenda. In Latam, you know, uh, you, we have some expression, I don't know which one do you, you use, if you want, you can share it with me by, by chat. It's, you will rest while you are dead. You will rest while you're dead. So, okay, it, my calendar is a Tetris because there's no time to rest. But also it's not about what I've heard in my life. It's also about what organizations says, okay? Which is, which is the culture. You can say no, you have to do it. Everything is important, everything is urgent. So uh, if you are working and also for people that are working with Agile, it's not just about the Agile methodologies, it's about to understand the culture behind our days, which is the culture of the company. Why are we organizing our days like this? And how we can help not just the teams, but also people to work in a different way. And we're going to do another exercise, okay? Are you ready for another exercise? Yes? I'm going very, very fast, very quickly or not? It's okay, Rhythm? Yes? Ah, yes? Ah, I don't see, yeah. Let them breathe. Okay. You have to go so, fast because of the time. <laughs> yes, because I don't have much time. Oh my God, and guys, surprise. Okay, so you take another piece of paper, yes? But this piece of paper, I don't want it, I want it uh, no, not at your notebook, just a way of it, okay? Because we have to work with it. In the next minute, I will ask you to write all the reasons why you can't have a healthier and productive, more productive life, okay? All your buts, all your complaints. Why isn't your life more healthy or more productive, okay? Just one minute, okay? Write all the things. It can be your boss, your company, your wife, your, uh, your husband, I don't mind. One minute, come on. Okay, okay, stop complaining. I know there are some people that would stay the whole day complaining. Now, see what, what do you feel when you see your bats, your complaints, okay? See if there are a lot or not, okay? Maybe there are some that are more important of others. And now show me your paper, please, at camera. 
Anna, this is going to be a great moment. Show me, show me all your bugs, your your complaints. And now with me, okay, one, two, three. Throw it all. And why are we doing this? Because why, one of the things we don't live a healthier life, it's because we are complaining the whole time and we are victims. We are victims of some someone else. We are victims of our teams, our companies, and there is no way, okay, to have a healthier life or a productive life if we stay that way. So we, we as people, we need to be protagonists, and we also need to uh, share this with other people in our teams and our organizations. We need to help them to be protagonists. And we need a culture of protagonists and not victims at all, okay? So if you have someone at your side that is complaining the whole time, you know what you have to do. The complaints, they are there, okay? But let them go, yes? Not stay there. So we have just three minutes and I have to choose how to close this. Yes, because I, I, I would like to share so many things with you, but I share one uh, working um, on a smart that for me, it's very interesting and very important. And it's uh, of being protagonist. You'll have just two minutes and it's the last exercise to design your perfect week. Not your perfect week on holidays, okay? Which are the things your perfect week should have okay maybe you can draw it if you want to draw perfect then you show it to me uh which are the things and anna also if you want you can do it how would it look like your perfect week okay imagine imagine not the year not a day just the week two minutes one minute, one minute and a half. your faces could you draw something would you share it with me okay let me see what you have drawn okay and now see it and just look it looks like your days it's far away from your days what have you discovered for me, this is one of the most important things. We need to start designing our days, our weeks, because if we don't decide them, someone else will do it. 
And we usually think about our year or our day, but we don't think about our week, you know? And let me tell you that most of the companies don't give a place for people to design their dreams. So it's important that we work with our dreams and our perfect wit, and also to share this with our people. If we are working in Agile, if we are working with empowerment, we need people to be focused and to be connected with themselves because productivity comes when it's healthy. It's not just far away one from each other. So as we are ending, uh, I would like you to know two things if you can share with me by chat, we are ending. Uh, this session was similar or different to the other sessions you've been in this Congress. And if you've seen some difference, which is, if you will share with me, okay? And also, how do you feel right now? Different, which is the difference? Interactive, worked a lot, okay. Different, more movement, more engaging, thanks. Very positive, okay, engaging, thanks. So, uh, We'll end like this. Uh, I will ask you to stand up for the last time, okay? The last time. So uh, to work with the smart, smart working and being is not just about thinking and taking good notes. It's about moving our body to build a better way of life. Jose, you are there. Um, I want to thank you a lot. For me, I started working with smart working. It was a dream. And I can't believe I'm talking about this in a UK Congress. This is amazing. So uh, we need to move, not just our head, but also our bodies. So uh, for ending, just I want you to know how you are living. I'm living with a lo lot of good new ideas. Tristan shout, OK? Uh, I want to reflect a tango, okay? Oh, I, I'm just tired. You spoke so quickly and you do like a meniadito, okay? Just one, two, three. How are you living? Let me see. Okay, tango, twist. Okay, thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure. It's my last talk before I'm going to be a man for uh second time and i'm very pleased to be with you thanks a lot see to see you soon okay.